All right, welcome back to Elephant TV. We're back at Glebeland versus Edmonton Rangers. This is going to be a cracking game. All right, big news. This is the beginning of Glebeland's West Stand. All right, Ailiff Fan TV, I'm back with the manager of Anne, and there is, we have reports that you're not here next week, you're getting married. Everyone at Ailiff Fan TV wish you the utmost congratulations, but how do you think you've prepared Ailiff for your absence next week? Uh, well, I think we can only go on how we've been playing the last couple of weeks. Uh, well, more than a couple of weeks, it's been unbelievable. Uh, they're on an upward uh, curve, and I think that no matter in my absence, they're, absence, they're going to play solid, solidly. Alright, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. More atmosphere than the Etihad. Alright, Aylith Fan TV, I have some exciting news for you. The fans have been voting on the Aylith Player of the Month, and the winner is. Louis! Yeah! Yeah! Dylan, yeah! it's a fantastic month for him. How do you feel his performance is? Do you think he deserved Player of the Month? Yeah, I'd say he deserved it, but I think we go watch Yoni Klein today, you know. He's um, the best player on the team by far. We saw his um, games recently haven't been good, but if he can get the form he was on earlier in the season, I think we're going to be seeing a whitewash today by Yone. All right, now uh, we were there when they lost 5-2 to Edmonton Rangers, but they're back and at Glebelands. We've even got the stands being set up. How, what do you think the score predictions for today are? I'm going to go with a 4-1 loss. You know, I'm not confident without Luke Godfrey or Josh Kay. I think we're going to see a complete, uh, utter demolishing. If they play their game, 1-1. One, one. Why are you filming down there, mate? Why are you filming down there? Oh. Whose shirt is this? It's Yoni. It's mine. Oh, it's Yoni, now it's mine. <laughs> How do you have it? He gave it to me. Why does Yoni have t-shirts? <laughs> Fan TV. We sat down here at the West End because Mickey's had a terrible injury uh, and we've had what has to be one of the most boring halves of A-list football we've had in a very long time. What do you make of it? I'm absolutely done. Right. <laughs> so, lackluster, like, like, like right? You see, like, Johnny, he, he, he needs to be more... <laughs> Does Archie want to do that? He more aggressive about right, okay. <clears throat> No, just okay. oh, mate. Mickey, right. just speak English. Okay. Right, it's absolutely lackluster, okay? Yoni, okay, needs to get stuck here more, right? 
the, the, the entire attack needs to get stuck on what? There's heavy balls, heavy touches. It's not good enough. These are two players are up for it. I Aleph, I'm not so sure. If you were the manager of Van, what would you te be telling your team right now? If I was manager of Van right now, I'd say focus, you know? Smaller passes, not good enough focus, right? Yoni, okay? Let's get stuck in. Everyone needs to get stuck in. There's heart on your sleeves. This is a crucial game. Let's show these lot that we're Aleph and we're ready for them. All right, I'm sure he said something in there. Um, but we'll be back for the second half on Aleph Fan TV. Strikes five, it's been a long week, but it's finally arrived. Time for a chilled one in with some wine, a film and a Chinese. <laughs> yeah, right. Rise to my feet and leave for the day. Call my people and tell them to meet at my place. Eating is cheating, so straight onto free drinks and let's get this evening underway. Laughing, joking, drinking, smoking, glasses clinking, music pumping. Couple mates cutting up a little something. It isn't for me, man, but I ain't judging. No plan, we'll just go with the flow, but we know that we need to leave in a bit. Nobody really cares where though, because what matters the most is the people you're with. Yeah, we just living for the weekend, and right now this is weekend living Each of us is just making the most of the little bit of freedom we get given Yeah, I said we're living for the weekend, cause right now this is weekend living Each of us is just making the most of the little bit of freedom we get given Yeah, just drop us off outside mate yeah, this will do. Nice one, Sam. Walk in the club, straight to the bar. Order some shots and pay with my card. I'd rather have fun while I'm young than the fact when I'm older and feel like I wasted the chance. Couple hours past the dancing and drinking till I'm in the garden smoking a bag. With my arm around my mate, like I know that I don't say this enough, but I love you, man. Dance is done, but I'm far from it. Did someone say house party? I'm on it. Smoking the air, people sat on the floor. But this is where the best friendships are formed. Player to watch for this game, who do you think? Jonathan Klein. The thing, see, I think that personally, I think Johnny Klein. Johnny Klein. And, uh, I'm gonna show you. Who thinks we're gonna stick him up? Yeah, gonna go with Johnny Klein. Yeah, Johnny Klein is the best player at the club. We have been seeing some better performances for you. What do you think you need to get that finishing touch, to get that goal that we so desperately want you to get? Um, I don't know. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure.
Yeah. Yeah. Right, deja vu at Glebelands against Edmonton Rangers. We thought they had a chance again, but they capitulated at the end. How do you feel about this one? Well, our boys have really faced their trials and tribulations of Sunday League football this morning. And I want to say we've played our best. Two goals from Yoni Klein. I was astounded. Unfortunately, Edmonton, they just won us over and 5 free outcome. Right, Ayla San TV. I'm back with Daniel and his grandma. Thank you so much for coming. And it hasn't been the best game for Ailis, but do you think there's anything good they can take away from this loss that they can move forward with? I thought they played brilliantly. Um, unfortunately, the goal number three that the opposing team scored was a, a bit of a giveaway. But the rest of the game, they can only learn. There weren't many mistakes. And I think they've got a great coach and they work together as a team and um, they've just got to keep going at it. Mm, um, so I'm very proud of all of them and very proud of my lovely grandson and all his teammates. Thank you very much. Alright, thank you very much. And Daniel, I'd just like to have a look at the new training kit. Oh, yeah. has just dropped. Looks amazing. Everyone's initials. Can you show them the rest? Yeah. Alright, thank you very much. Ailis Van TV, we're back with the goal scorers, Ori with the first and Yoni with an amazing penalty and an amazing goal. You know, the result didn't go your way, but how do you think the team did? Um, well, we had our ups and downs today, there's no doubt about it. You know, we had pockets of good football, pockets of bad, but you know, at least we fought back, we didn't totally give up. Obviously not the result we wanted, but obviously happy to score two goals, get back into form and uh, hopefully we can keep our momentum into the next games. And do you think now that the floodgates have opened, you'll be scoring every week? Uh, that's a plan, obviously, no promises, but um, I work hard in training, you know, the team works hard, we play well and hopefully it'll come together. All right, and Ori, Hello. you know, what would you say to the team to make them, you know, to brush up on those mistakes? Do you think it's the training? Do you think it's the captain? What, what do you think, Ramon? Well, I think it's unfortunate today because it was kind of like last time we lost 5-2. We, we played well again and we dominated periods of the game and then we, we made mistakes. Credit to Yoni Klein, he's come out, playing a great performance. It's been a long time coming, Yoni. I'm happy for him as well. I'm happy I scored again, but, you know, we got um, Ronnie Kamal's team next week. So it's a very winnable game. So hopefully we'll bring um, another win for the Fortress. All right, thank you very much. All right, Ayla Fan TV, I'm here with Matan and his little sister, Leo. Leo, do you think you've come down here on a Sunday to watch Ayla? Is there anything you've, you can take away from the game and learn for yourself when you go out and play football? I think they say very well and I can take a lot away. Um, they did some very good skills and it was a very good game. And um, what do you make of your brother's performance? Do you think he did well? I think he did very well. All right, thank you very much. We hope to see you next week where they will have a game without the manager. We'll see how they do. Does anyone know who it's against? Hampstead. Oh, going back to their first win. Exactly. Uh, is it at Glebeland? It's away. We'll find out, but it's going to be an amazing game. You will not want to miss this one. Thank you very much for watching. I'll oh, be lift till I die. I know I am, I know I am. I'll be lift till I die. <laughs> 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 <laughs>